Hey guys. Hi guys, I'm getting ready to prep some food. I brought some peppers from the store Saturday. I want to cut up and put them in the um, deep freezer before they go bad. And for tonight's dinner, I'm doing some fried baked potatoes with onions, pepper, and um, salt to go with some fried chicken and broccoli and dinner rolls. So I just thought I'd cut on the camera so you guys can watch how I do it. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you enjoy the video. I basically have a trash can right here that I'm peeling uh, my potatoes over the trash can. Let me know down in the comment section, guys. How are your week going so far? And what are you having for dinner tonight? When I can catch peppers on sale, I like to go ahead and prep them myself and get them in a deep freezer or the freezer. almost forgot about them. I hate when food go bad. It's too expensive for any, you know, to let any food go to waste. And we love peppers because I use them for different dishes. The bad potatoes have not been that well, that good. It takes me almost 10 minutes or 15 minutes just to look through the bad potatoes lately. I think I told you guys about that in my last grocery haul. So this bag of potato was pretty good. I think only one, two, probably two or three looked it a little nasty, but you just cut that off and it still was good. But it's kind of hard to find good fresh potatoes. We love potatoes. You can do a whole lot of different dishes with potatoes, guys. This is one of my family favorite dishes. My entire immediate, like everybody in my family, we love these fried potatoes and onions. And just put pat, um, salt and pepper. Some people, we put salt, pepper, well I put salt, pepper, onions. And sometimes some people do put um, the red peppers and stuff and sometimes we don't. Now when I'm doing like a, um, this one might be really, really bad. I might have to throw this one all the way out. I think this one is really, really bad. Yeah, this is really, really bad, guys. <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? Absolutely nothing. So anyway, um, when I'm doing a breakfast... some more potatoes in here. I think I had about three more in there. Let me see. When I'm doing like a um, breakfast casserole, 
with potatoes. I put the onions and the bell peppers in there. But this particular one, we just like the salt, pepper, and onions. We'll do it like that. Underneath my kitchen cabinet, I found two more. My kitchen cabinet can be kind of just a little cool. It can be just a little cool. So what I like to do, I like to, um, when I first buy potatoes, we use some. We use some and then we'll put some of the rest in the refrigerator. It keeps it fresher longer. So when I buy like a medium sized bag or a big bag, we'll cook some that first couple of days homemade fries, fried potatoes, breakfast casserole, baked potatoes, stuff like that. And then we'll probably have about, about six or eight. We'll put in the bottom of our refrigerator. It stays good longer. Been doing that for years. But these been under, underneath my cabinet since Sunday, no Saturday, when I went grocery shopping, me and my sister and my niece. So, and then I want to get those peppers out of there. When I catch regular fresh peppers on sale, I like to go ahead and cut them up and prep them myself. So the rest of these was good. That one was real, real bad. Let me know down in the comment section, guys. Do you guys like fried potatoes or breakfast casseroles? I like the one that the lady, um, well, there's two different ladies on the Food Network channel that I like. And all of a sudden, I can't think of their names. I went blank. Both of them make two different types of casserole. One with the sausage and one without. I like both ways. And the fried potatoes is just something that everybody in my family loves. We eat this sometimes with chicken by itself. And sometimes if we have pork chops. And this is my son can eat this whole pan. 19 year old eat like two full grown men. But that's my baby I love. I love cooking for him.
how often do y'all cook? Let me know down in the um, comment section. I cook a day and skip a day. So basically three days out of a week. And then we eat the leftovers. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the potatoes so far. So I just rinse them until they're totally clear, the water, and set these to the side. So let me get my onions before I start on these peppers. Crystal, if you're watching, say hello. I haven't seen you in a couple of my videos. You usually be the first one that says hello or comment. So I want to make sure you're okay if you're watching this particular video. Say hello, Crystal, and let me know how you're doing. Yes, I know just about everybody that comments all the time and who have been here with me from day one. And Crystal is one of the... Um, ladies that have been here with me from day one supporting my channel I usually see her on um she usually the first one that comments so I haven't seen her in the last couple of my videos so I want to make sure she's okay so if you're okay Crystal say something and let me know tell when you got a good onion because your eyes gonna get the water in. and it's gonna be very very strong onions. I cook with onions all the time. Do you guys like cooking with onions and peppers? What's your favorite seasonings? Let me know down in the comment section, guys. I love the taste like onions and certain dishes. You have to cut the onions up real fine, but yeah, I'm going to have to wipe my face off because you would think I would be used to it. I've been cooking in the kitchen with my mom since I was eight years old. And the rest of my siblings was either outside or with their friends at their friend's house, in the room somewhere. But most of the time at their friend's house or outside. But I've always been a homebody. 
always wanted to know what my mom was doing and be around her. So you would think my eyes would be strong by now, but. Okay, so that's done. I use I have so much of foil I caught on sale and hot good deals. I like to do this sometimes for an easy quick cleanup. Wrap these onions up and set them in the refrigerator. watery <laughs> some good strong potent onions okay sometimes when I'm in the kitchen and I need it I just get a fresh paper towel run it under some cold water off let me know down in the comment section do you guys like cooking do you know how to cook and how long have you been cooking also who taught you how to cook I always watch my mom she taught me how to cook Yeah, I've been in the kitchen cooking with my mom and watching her since I was eight years old. We were not, we were not, me and my siblings, all my siblings, we were not the kids that go out all the time to eat. It was only on special occasions, birthdays, and maybe if we did real good in school, but it was, my mom cooked a lot, always cooking in big dinners. woman can cook <laughs> but she didn't got older now she's like uh, she don't be feel like cooking all the time like she used to I understand it I get it Ooh, this pepper is fresh Smells so good too. Real good. Love, love, love me some fresh produce. Guys, I'm gonna start back cooking when I get some new pots and pans. Because I know quite a few of you guys do enjoy me cooking. I'm not no professional cook. I'm just a mom that cooks at home 90% of the time.
If you do see me eating out, that's because I've been out all day and I need to put something in my stomach. get finished cooking guys I cannot wait to um take my fresh shower and kick my feet up and see what's on TV this is um this is Monday so my favorite show has to be on too thin and I don't like them too thick. Leave me some suggestion down in the comments section, guys. I know I asked this before, I think a month ago. Give me some suggestions of some good, really good pans, pots and pans that's safe to use. I want the I want the pots and pans set that's um I think it's Castaway, um something like that Castaway. I'm gonna have to put a picture in the um in my community tab to show you guys which one I'm talking about, Castaway or something like that. But they're $400. Beautiful sets though, will last a lifetime. Really good and safe to cook with, but I can't um, afford those $400 right now. Let me know what type of pasta pans you guys got. Because you got to be real careful. I had heard that, um, be careful what type of pots and pans you get because some of those pots and pans is not safe and some cause, it cause um, artism. I don't know. I've been getting Rachel Ray products for the last, um, I want to say for the last um, five or ten years, before Rachel Ray, it was a set that I used to get in Walmart, so with an F A L or something like that. But yeah, Rachel Ray, I've been getting her products for the last five or ten years. But it only it only holds up for about three, maybe four years. I don't know, you can't get really good stuff like you used to, you know? Not like you used to. Things don't hold up like you used to. I can't wait to get some more pots of pans so I can cook for you guys some more. I just cook what I like. I cook what we like over here. Because we like to eat. Watch movies and hang out at home.
if, if everybody is not busy and working and stuff like that we like to hang out at home we like to have everything we need at home you know Let's get this done. Let me know down in the comment section, guys, do you enjoy cooking? And if you do, what is your favorite dishes you like to cook? Or do you just like to go out to eat? Nothing like cooking your own food. At least you know what you're putting in there. And you know your area is clean and sterilized. Plus, you can go back for seconds. They saying food costs is going to go keep going up. It's expensive to eat. It's expensive to eat out. Hearing he laughing real loud, that's my son. Just got home from work not too long ago. And he's back there. He loves the TikToker on the game or something. 
So that's probably him if you hear anybody laughing loud. His voice travels. His laugh travels. Sometimes I'll be waking up in the middle of the night be forgetting I got a 19-year-old in the house. He's snoring like a full-grown man. I'm like, wait a minute. I keep forgetting he's not my little baby anymore. I keep forgetting that I... <laughs> Had to wake up and, and, and look, creep to the room like, wait a minute, who up in here? I'm making Philly homemade Philly cheese steaks and, a, and, a next, and next time I cook. We love, everybody love my Philly cheese steak. I don't, I put the right amount of meat and cheese and season it up good. And my Philly cheese steak, should you get a chili cheese, cheese steak? A lot of these places now, you're paying ten, fifteen dollars. So, all right, guys, just cleaning up my area. I really appreciate you guys for watching me prepping my food, cutting up these peppers and onions. And some people say stuff like that is relaxing to them. I watch people that prep their food and um, do grocery hauls. It is relaxing to clean out their refrigerators and stuff and organizing. I watched this one channel, I forgot her name, but she don't speak a lot. Hers is just totally, totally silent. set now these peppers are fresh I love when I go to the store and they putting out fresh produce before people get in there and start picking over everything so this is how the red is looking I don't like them too big or too small guys now if I'm doing if I don't like them too small or too big or chunky but if I'm doing a certain dish and I need it to be cut up finer than that, I will cut it up and let blocks real fine. But these are going to be for Philly cheesesteaks later on in the week. And this is the yellow ones. So the only thing I'm about to do is get ready and put these in my um, Ziploc bags. I just put the date on mine and that's it but yeah guys thank you for watching me prep all this I appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video like comment and subscribe guys little mouth. I already have yellow and orange in the freezer from last time I went grocery shopping. I don't use a whole lot of those, but these right here are the main ones that I keep running out of. And 
And if you catch onions on sale, cut them up, cut them up, put them in a the freezer, deep freezer. Now look at the red. So I'm just gonna put the date on them. And that's it. They're all done. So guys, thank you again. Nothing fancy. I'm pretty sure we all do the same. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm going to put these up and I'm going to get ready and um, fry this chicken, do some broccoli, and do this fried potatoes so I can take my shower and relax. So I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Let me know what you want to see me prep next. Maybe I'll let you guys see how I prep my fresh carrots and my celery sticks to keep them fresher longer if you're not ready to use them right away um you're gonna need mason jars or any type of good jars but mason jars is mostly the ones that i use and it's another brand too but anyway thank you for coming along i appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video love y'all bye bye